All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be solving the equation 36 to the power of x is equal to three over x. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. So my equation is 36 to the power of x is equal to three to three over x. And what I'm first gonna do is take the power of three over x on both sides. So now I have 36 to the power of x to the power of three over x is equal to three over x to the power of three over x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 36 to the power of x to the power of 3 over x is going to equal 36 to the power of x times 3 over x. And this is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. So then now these two x's cancel out and I get 36 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And now from here, I can rewrite 36 as 6 squared. So I get 6 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 is going to equal 6 to the power of 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, 6 is going to equal 3 over x. And I can solve this by using proportions. So 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. So I get 6 over 1 is equal to 3, to 3 over x. And now I can cross multiply. 6 times x is 6x. And 1 times 3 is 3. So I get 6x equals 3. And now if I divide both sides by 6, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 3 over 6, which simplifies to 1 half. So I get x is equal to 1 half. So now from here to check my equation was 36 to the power of x is equal to 3 over x. So x equals 1 half. So I get 36 to the power of 1 half is equal to 3 over 1 half, which is equal to turns into 6 is equal to 6. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 88. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 8 to the power of x is equal to 88. Now I'm first going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log of 88. Now, if I have something in the form 
log of a to the power of b. I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And the reason this property is so useful is be because before, x was an exponent. And for our equation, if x is 1, I get 8. If x is 2, I get 64. And if x is 3, I get 64 times 8, which is 512. And we want to find what value of x results in 88, which is somewhere in between 2 and 3, but we don't ex know exactly where because it's going to be a decimal. So we can't really find the exact value as x when x is in uh, ex exponent form. So this is why we can make it into a real term using this property, and now it's much simpler to solve for it. So now I have x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And I want to isolate x because that's what I'm solving for. So I'm going to get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 88 over log 8. Now log 88, I can rewrite this as log of 8 times 11. So I have log of 8 times 11 over log 8. And now another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 8 times 11 is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 11. And I have this over log of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, which is a simple fraction property. So log 8 plus log 11 over log 8, I can write that as log 8 over log 8 plus log 11 over log 8. Now, log 8 and log 8 cancel out to get 1. So I get 1 plus log 11 over log 8. So now, all that's left is to plug in the actual values of log 11 and log 8 and solve. So log 11 is equal to approximately 1.04. And log 8 is equal to approximately 0 0.90. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1.04 over 0 0.90, which is equal to 0.90. Six, meaning x is equal to 2.16. So this is my answer.